Good morning, this is Ogle's Fish Room. I wanted to do a quick follow-up on uh, my bed of tanks that I did yesterday. I'm going to do this a lot quicker, but uh, there was... I'm kind of... You did get a good look at this guy. This is the Placat uh, white and black uh, Placat beta that... I... Comically call him a full moon, but... <laughs> He's supposed to be a half moon placat, and his fins are just huge uh, compared to a normal placat because his fins are usually much shorter, almost looks like a female. And I'll show you some of those in a minute, but I'm going to get his fins real quickly. There he is. Okay, this is his tank. We're going to move over here fast. Now, this is a true placat, <laughs> which is, like I said, just a larger version of a female. He's not much bigger, but his finnage is the same as a female, but they're, the males are called placats. And, uh, well, he's decided to, he's going to be a little shy this morning. Anyway, there he is. We're going to do this quicker. But there was a few points I feel like I missed yesterday, and also a few of my bettas were uh, deciding to take it easy. This is one of them that you did not see in my video yesterday. Uh, this is the 20 long. Uh, he's very pretty. This is uh, one from <laughs> that supermarket, which I feel like I overpaid, but we won't go into that. Anyway, his tank is nice. He's nice. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, I was. It was one of those days when I'd lost a bet and I just wanted another one and he was the best I could find that day, and uh, that was at Pet Supermarket, and I just feel they overcharge a bit there. But anyway, okay, this guy was out a minute ago. This is, he's one of the reasons I even started this this morning. He's in the back. There he is. And when I was reviewing my video from yesterday, I realized that he was in here, but he was right under this plant. I could see his tail sticking out, but he was having a serious nap, and uh, so you might have noticed his tail, but I did not, and so I'm kind of apologizing for that, but there he is, uh, we just, uh, everybody just got fed a few minutes ago, so he's out and about, I wish he'd come closer, but this is the one I refer to as creamsicle because of his orange and white coloring, I think he's gorgeous. Anyway, this is uh, the aquascape of this. I had been watching uh, another tank where people were kind of bragging about using uh, spiderwood. I absolutely love spiderwood. Something that I don't think enough people in other videos say is that as long as it's a small piece like this, uh, and I, if, if it doesn't fit in your pan, just keep turning it around to get most of it in there or cook it for a little while. Anyway, the point I'm making is I put it in like a spaghetti pan. One of those huge, uh, well, pan is the only <laughs> word I can come up with right now. But uh, I fill it up with water. I put it on high on the stove. I boil the water. And uh, I boil this literally for probably three to four hours. You would be amazed. You can see the clarity of this water. It's not. Now, some of my other tanks, the tannic acid is still coming out. But uh, if, this, if it's a small enough piece like this, you can, uh, where is he? He's, he's back, there he is. I wanted to try to, he just loves uh, going through this little jungle I've created. Uh, there's a little tunnel down there that he likes as well. Anyway, there's a nice picture of him. But what, what I'm trying to say real quickly is that uh, I boil the uh, spider wood, if it's a small enough piece, if it's hanging out a little bit, I will, you know, one side for a while and then turn it over and do the other side. But uh, if you get the majority, like the trunk, if, if I can use that word, uh, like that area, if you get that in there where it's thicker and uh, you boil that tannic acid out, uh, it also makes the wood sink. I, I heard a couple of people, uh, how videos that I was watching kept saying, we have to glue spider wood to rocks. Uh, to hold it down so it won't float. Well, that's true, but it's going to leak a lot of tannic acid when it does start uh, getting saturated. Anyway, the boiling 
gets the tannic acid out and it saturates the wood to the point of where you don't have to tie it down or, or weight it down with rocks. Anyway, that's that tank. This is the uh, 20 long. I just wanted to show you that you didn't see either one of these fish yesterday. So I wanted to show them out and about. That's them. Okay, we're going to move, try to move a lot quicker than I did yesterday. This is the 10. Darn it, there's that same uh, snail I saw yesterday that I did not see five minutes ago that I need to kill. Anyway, uh, trumpet snails. Trumpet snails, it's got a little pointy part to it that what why it's called trumpet uh it's hard to see i know he is actually tiny 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 uh anyway there's the tin and uh tell you what excuse me for a second okay please excuse me i had to uh uh i missed killing him yesterday <laughs> and so uh and then i didn't see him this morning until just now while i'm filming so I had to take a moment to kill him. I wanted to use, uh, to kind of incorporate this, this is a plastic spoon, okay, but it's heavy, heavy duty. This, well, it looks like I'm bending it, but I'm not. It's, uh, anyway, it's heavy duty. It's, it's pretty thick. I got a package of about, well, this is the longest one in the package, but I've got a package of those uh, from... Dollar Tree, I'm sure the Dollar Store has them too, but Dollar Tree for only a dollar and a quarter. And there's about five or six spoons with different lengths. This happens to be the longest one. But that's what I use because everything else bends uh, or allows the, if it's any softer material, it allows the snail to just smush into it and not really kill the snail. <laughs> so this is strong enough here. This, this is some serious plastic. And I'm able to, I, I try to catch a snail right here, right in the middle, okay, right there. You do it anywhere else and he just slides down <laughs> and gets away from you. Uh, because trumpet snails are born pregnant, I'm not exaggerating about that, you can look that up. Uh, so they don't need two to make a whole bunch. Uh, and if, and they are, uh, most people don't see them. I, I was telling somebody uh, that I thought I saw them in their tank, and they said, no, I, I don't see any. And uh, so they went to turn their lights on in the morning, and they were everywhere. So I'm trying to explain that trumpet snails specifically, the other snails don't do this, but trumpet snails uh, bur burrow into the ground. They're, they're in, under the sand when the lights are on. Uh, they come out when the lights go off. And so most people, if they have them, they simply don't see them. Um, and I'm telling you, when they are born, they are tiny, 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 tiny. Uh, I don't know if you can see this on my desk, <laughs> but I actually have. Now, I'm, I'm old, so my eyes aren't what they used to be, but I do use a magnifying glass to see things. Uh, like, you know, if I, let's, let's, I think that's food right there. But let's, let's look under the magnifying glass. Yeah. Basic, I don't know if you can see that through the magnifying glass or not. Those are snail eggs. That is not, uh, I don't mean trumpet snail eggs. Those are uh, nearite snail eggs. They just have a tendency to want to lay eggs everywhere. Fortunately, if you don't have any salt in your water, they can't hatch. Uh, they have to move to... Uh, I just forgot the word, uh, but where the water is uh, penetrated quite a bit by salt uh, in order for the eggs to actually hatch. So that's why uh, most people at the stores tell you that uh, there he is. You didn't see him yesterday either. Uh, that's why most people say that uh, nearite snails won't breed in the tank. Well, they will breed and they will lay eggs, which are obnoxious all over the place. But uh, like I said, there you are bunch of eggs there. I mean, there's a slew of them. Uh, but they won't hatch. Anyway, uh, as long as, as I said, you don't have a lot of salt in your water. Okay. Here's, uh, this is a veil tail. You did not see him yesterday. He's white with blue stripes. I absolutely love him. He was only five forty nine at uh, a super pet supermarket. 
Uh, this guy was from Pet Smart. He's a full, I start to say full, uh, half moon. Uh, as you can see, he's just gotten huge. Well, he won't turn around. There he is. Okay. I want you to see his finish. Yeah, there it is. It's monster finish. Anyway, he was seven ninety nine at uh, Pet Smart. Uh, I am not. There he is. This is another one from uh, Pet uh, Supermarket. He's just a veil tail, five forty nine. But I thought he was gorgeous, white and pink. Very pretty fish. I'm trying. I spent more time on him yesterday, so I won't do that today. Uh, okay, we're gonna move to my little two and a half. This is the black and white guy. A little uh, put cat, these are called, so he's small enough that this little two and a half is fine for him. Don't don't freak out and call me dirty names because uh, I do not put full size bettas in these little tanks. Uh, but the cats I think are just fine, as you can see, he's disappeared already. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of room, and remember where he came from. Okay, he came out of a little cup, and if you've ever been at the store. When these things arrive, you will be appalled at the amount. It's like a teaspoon of water in little itty bitty bags. The things can't even swim. It's just, they're just in there. And uh, so, comparatively speaking, of course, that's a 10 gallon. But comparatively speaking, uh, they're in, this is enormous area compared to what they were used to. Here's another beauty from. Uh, Pet Smart, seven ninety nine. Believe it or not, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, now over here we have the. Uh, this is from seven ninety nine from Pet uh, Smart. He's a beauty. I won't spend too much time on him. There's his tank. I love that. Okay, and my newest was here five seconds ago and he's just disappeared okay uh this is the first crown tail i kind of featured him in my video yesterday there he is crown tail to me i used to not like these but this one's coloring was just hard to pass up i i i, I think he's gorgeous got a white stripe down his nose and his back if he'll turn around and the finage is red, well, the body's blue, as you can see. The finage is a mixture of uh, blue and red. Absolutely gorgeous. Just got him yesterday. There's that stripe. He hasn't quite figured out that his reflection in the glass is his reflection. <laughs> uh, he has run into the wall a few times because he thinks it's another fish. But he will get used to that. Everybody does. Uh, but he is just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous fish. Very unusual. So I had to get him. Uh, I used to think the crown tails just looked like somebody took a razor blade and split the fins open, or they were, you know, had a disease. But uh, the color is what got me on this one. Uh, I think he's just gorgeous. I'm very happy I got him. He was at. Oh. Uh, uh, supermarket um, and actually I don't know if they reduce their prices a little bit but he was only 949 so it was like you know 1007 or something uh, with tax and uh, I thought that was terribly reasonable for the beauty of this thing man yes yeah, so he's still kind of freaking out over the reflection but he, he will get used to it. He, he's not, at least, he might be bouncing back from the, well, can, yeah. At least he's not running into, there he sees the reflection. There you go. But at least he's not running into the wall. <laughs> I first put him in. He was nailing that wall trying to get that other fish. So I think he's learned a little bit. But it's going to take a little while for him to realize that none, nothing is in here. Like I said before, uh, this guy over here, uh, for the longest time, I thought I'd lost him. I, he, he was hiding so good that I couldn't even find him in the darn tank. Uh, so he was a little afraid of what else might be. You know, I don't know how much thinking they actually do. Uh, most is instinct. 
you know, but I, so I can understand that. You know, he goes into a new place. It's certainly not, certainly bigger than the bowl. To him, it's outside. He doesn't know what's lurking around the corner trying to eat him. So, uh, and he still, as you can see, he, he likes to get down on these plants. And that's why I planted this so heavily. I had a couple plants in here. Actually, maybe only one. Uh, I mean, I have some up here, the Nubius and uh, up, up here. And uh, on the uh, oh, spiderwood. Uh, and these are, uh, uh, darn it, uh, java fern on rocks over here to the left. A little bit of petite uh, Nubius on this wood, but the java ferns kind of grown up around it. It's hard to see. But these uh, crypts, uh, these are Cryptocorcus uh, corpus, I think, uh, green, and they had gotten a beautiful shipment in one day of these guys, so I got a little carried away, because uh, I wanted to, as you can see, he's down in there, <laughs> but he just was hiding so much, I just felt like uh, he was just scared to death, so I planted several of these, here's one, two, three, four, five, I got one way back there, uh, and he likes it, uh, as you can see him, he's kind of hiding in there, but, uh, so that's the point, you know, you, you want to make your, uh, pets feel comfortable, listen, I've talked too much again, so, uh, I'm going to do a quick scan, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I count that as eight, because, or two, because, uh, of the divider. Here's another 20 with the divider. So 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now, I do have other tanks, but we're not talking about them today. And uh, so that's 12, 13, 14. And the big guy, 15. Okay. Got my angelfish in there and a whole bunch of other things. And a slew, well, they're not out right now. A slew of uh, koi loaches. And there's the uh, yo yo loaches that almost killed one of my betas, which is why they're living over here now. But they seem happy. They've got a lot of room, as you can see. And uh, there's that one. I'm going to sign out. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching uh, Ogle's Fish Room. And I do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and happy fishing. Bye-bye.